Hi everyone, I'm Mike and welcome to this new video dedicated to virtual reality. With particular attention to the headset that is expected to revolutionize the entire industry. I'm about to talk to you about a high-end device so its price might raise eyebrows, but I am convinced that considering carefully what it offers, it would be justified. I'm talking about the new Pimax Crystal Super. Twenty nine point five million pixels. Okay, we're talking about a sci fi level of pixel quantity here. It far exceeds the pixel count of the crystal and even the Apple Vision Pro, which was currently at the top of the charts. These pixels translate into a resolution of three thousand eight hundred and forty times three thousand eight hundred and forty pixels per eye. The panels of the Crystal Super are based on the latest QLED technology and through Pimax aspheric glass lenses they offer even more vibrant colors. One of the disadvantages of LCD and QLED panels is that the entire panel is backlit, which makes areas of the screen that should be black appear dark grey. That's why they've added a mini LED panel with 912 zones per eye that can be individually turned on or off. The local dimming, which is the ability to control and manage backlighting, has increased by 58% compared to the crystal. So, if you've never seen the crystal, I think it's hard to imagine the image quality, but I can assure you that it must be something terrifying. Another generational leap. Another leap because, in my opinion, a leap has already been made uh, with the Crystal. The Crystal Super will swallow it whole without even chewing. But let's proceed with the analysis of the specifications. The Crystal Super features the new generation of Pimax glass aspheric lenses. They have 30% more surface area than those of the Crystal. An additional layer of protection has been added for greater protection against dust that manages to enter the lens bar and uh, the other protection layer remains, which is also used for eye tracking. The base lenses of the Crystal Super provide an incredible field of view with an image quality of 50 ppd, pixels per degree. The optional lenses go further and offer a quality of 57 ppd at the cost of some field of view. I don't know if you know this, but it seems that normally the pixel density calculated in human vision is 60 ppd. So, I honestly can't even imagine it. It will probably be so sharp that it won't even seem like it's on a screen. Incredible. The Crystal Super will be exclusively PCVR, powered by a display port cable. It will be equipped with an eye tracking system which, like the Crystal, allows functionalities such as Auto IPD, which is automatic interpupillary distance adjustment, and dynamic foveated rendering. The DFR dynamic foveated rendering is like FFR fixed foveated rendering, but with the help of eye tracking, it has the ability to follow your eyes, so the area of the screen rendered in high definition won't be fixed at the center of your field of view, but wherever you look. This is another feature that Crystal possesses and has taken a leap forward in virtual reality, allowing dreamlike performance. With DFR you can gain up to 50% more frames without any visible degradation of your view, because the image will be rendered in native resolution where you look while in the peripheral area it will be rendered in lower resolution. As for motion tracking, the Crystal Super features the same system as the Crystal, a 
an integrated inside-out tracking system consisting of four cameras. Here too, it will be possible to use the lighthouse faceplate to utilize the base station. Let's move on to the field of view, or FOV. With the new lenses of the Crystal Super, they managed to significantly expand the field of view, bringing the diagonal field to 150 degrees. Most headsets on the market have a field of view around 100 degrees. The Crystal reaches 117 with optional lenses, professional headsets reach 120 degrees and the Crystal Super with base lenses achieves an amplitude of 130 degrees. The same goes for the vertical field of view, surpassing everyone with 110 degrees. Even in terms of pixels per degree, the Crystal Super manages to secure the top spot not with standard lenses which offer a quality of 50 ppd, but with optional lenses that brings the ppd to 57, very close to human vision quality. Well, at this point you might be wondering, how much the heck this headset cost? As you can see, prices on the market range around $900 for mainstream options, $1,600 for the Crystal, well, then there's the ridiculous price of Apple's flop. And then there are enterprise ads that hover around $4,000. Pimax has managed to price the Crystal Super at $1,800, which isn't bad considering what it offers, namely more than professional headset. The Crystal Super will include Pimax basic controllers, very similar to those of the Quest 2. But wait, there's more. They've introduced a new interchangeable system, so Take a look. Improved ergonomics and reduced weight to 800 gram. Interchangeable lenses 2.0. Auto IPD. New faceplate for mixed reality, that's great. And hand tracking module. And here it is, the world's first interchangeable optical engine that allows you to change the entire optical compartment, including the panels. And with this, they introduced the first OLED optical engine. Oh, and as a little treat, purely aesthetic, the faceplate with interchangeable light. Many people had complained because it was missing on the crystal. And here it is. So, to recap, you can choose to have either the QLED version, the Micro OLED version, or both. The advantages of Micro OLED include higher pixel density, better contrast, and black levels. The drawbacks are that it's a relatively new technology and more expensive to produce. Another drawback is their size. They are quite small, so the field of view is reduced. OLED panels are very bright, but are usually paired with resin pancake lenses, so the light reaching the user's eyes is lower. The advantages of QLED are numerous. Firstly, it's currently the most advanced technology for virtual reality, except for contrast, which is lower than OLED technology. All other aspects are better with QLED, including colors, color range and accuracy. They are also very bright when paired with glass spheric lenses. Another advantage is that they are larger, allowing for a wider field of view. And lastly, they are more affordable. The ability to change the optical engine offers great flexibility because it optimizes the headset for different types of views. For example, if you want to watch a movie, the OLED panel is definitely more suitable because it offers the highest image sharpness possible. And if you want to switch to your favorite simulator, just swap the optical engine and switch to QLED. And more. This feature opens the door to various possibilities, 
not to mention saving money because you don't have to change the entire headset, just one component. So the price of the QLED version is $1,800, the micro OLED version is $2,000, and the bundle QLED plus micro OLED is $2,400. These are relatively low prices considering what they offer compared to the rest of the market. And for the joy of current Crystal owners who want to upgrade to the Crystal Super, a $400 discount will be offered, bringing the prices to $1,400 for the QLED, $1,600 for the Micro OLED and $2,000 for the bundle. The new Pimax Crystal Lite and Pimax Crystal Super headsets can also be pre-ordered now on the Pimax website. Shipments of the Crystal Lite are expected to by mid-May 2024, while shipments of the Crystal Super are expected by September 2024. I hope the video proves useful to you. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button and leave a comment. Thanks for watching and see you next time.